If you're not aware of this, PowerDirector 17 has released an upgrade. This is build 2727. It was released um, 1904 22nd, which is today when I'm making this video. If you run a subscription service, which I do, then you don't worry about this. But if you, all you have is PowerDirector 17 and you bought it, then you want to go over here and fix this. I'll have the link in the bottom where you can get it. Um, if you have dual monitors, apparently there was a problem there. It fixes. Fixes issues with the program crashing on specific platforms. Fixes an issue in the timeline marker position changing after adding a saved project to the timeline. Um, fixes an issue that disabled audio track sometimes muted in batch. Production when you actually produced it. Fixes the issue that input font size becomes incorrect after pressing the enter key. Well, that's kind of a weird thing. Fixes an issue with the overlap pip objects cannot be moved or dragged with the plus icon. What else we got here? Fixes an issue incorrect path displays for particle template. DVD problem. A problem with the ratios with the HEVC. Split video. Fixes an issue with the preview split video. Crap zoom and pan. So it's a minor upgrade. There's only a few things here it's fixing. That's support for keyboard quick search font types. And some minor bug fixes. I hate it when they do that. Oh, I hate that. What were the minor bug fixes? I don't want to see that. That's generic. I want to see it listed. We did this, this, and this, and this. Ah, I hate that when companies do that. Anyhow, links in the bottom. Um, if you bought PowerDirector 17, you might want to go pick this up. Click your download button, do an upgrade, and you're off to the races and going. Catch you guys on the next one.